Good morning, everyone. Perfect Storm Trading here. Let's take a look at the uh, time triggers from the Astro Excel that I gave out yesterday, along with that uh, Vedic timing window. And let's see what happened with those price levels that I put out. So let's pick up the chart. Now I've marked the blue lines on this chart that I gave out from the Astro Excel yesterday once we got into the or close to the day session. So this first uh, first hit right here was just a very minor low. Not much bounce back there. So that one basically was a failure but ended up being a midpoint. Remember when these time points don't trigger a reversal they will often become the midpoint so therefore you'll know when that run is going to end which happens to be right here at this time trigger on our 1019 1020 it came in the window anyhow the second line also that was a very minor high spike high you see that bar right there that uh, spike high that gave you a chance to trigger down going into the window and then the next timer was a low at the price level so that's a time and price square out when one of these price levels hits one of these time points and the price is there that's going to most likely reverse so that's a square out so that triggered a little trade there and then we turn back down and right at the end of the window we had the low of the day so the Vedic timing window you know works again gets us the exact low of the day at the end of the window which we've often told you the end of the window can be extremely important if the markets moving down or up into the end of the window it can often trigger the reversal so the last timer that I gave for that little time frame there was uh, this one just missed the low in the window but became a very minor high and then we were trading up from there but what happens with our uh, price levels so it took us you know the rest of the morning from the time I came on here to uh, get to one of these levels so as we traded down and made our low this particular level the 13 uh, 39 13 area held well so we did slightly breach as we made our low at the very end of the window then that level became support where the market tried to continue down and push through that level three times it could not do it it could not take out the prior low but we know it's probably not going to why because we know the lows are going to come in our white and bright green windows so uh, as we trade back up then the next price level up that I had marked became resistance twice and kicked the market back twice before it broke through now that upper line has been our overnight support level you see how the price action has been bouncing and hanging around that line where it's acting like a gravity center so the windows uh, we did get a high in the green window right after the session reopened and then as we get into the nighttime uh, when we get into this low volatility area the windows don't carry much weight we really want to have you know active trading at that point and now as we move in today you can see we've got a couple of important windows for today so let's see if we get a continued uh, upside rebound today and let's see if we can challenge 4,000 here which is only uh, 37 points away so I think we can get back and retest that round number 4,000 around these two lines today and let's see if we can get pulled to a new high in these um, green windows later in the morning early afternoon so that's it for today let's see what happens and we'll just take it from there